at the end of the day, one it, whether it's Elon, whether it's Kathy Wood, whether it's Warren Buffett, one person does have this ability to move markets. Is Elon Musk trolling Twitter right now? He changed his Twitter profile pic to a collage of bored apes. And ApeCoin, the token launched by Board Ape creators Yuga Labs, shot up 19% after this profile pic changed, but it has since pared back its gains. He then tweeted, I don't know, seems kind of fungible in a trolling jab <laughs> at some of us that are kind of enamored with digital collectibles. Um, and after he changed his picture, he was actually called out by Michael Buhanin, a contemporary art specialist at Auction House Sotheby's, and that Michael claimed that Elon used his image that was created for the Sotheby's $24 million sale of a 101 Bored Apes in September. This is just like further proof that the culture of meme stocks are here to stay right now. I mean, stocks are basically meme stocks, right? Are ones that can get pumped based on social media. At the end of the day, one it, whether it's Elon, whether it's Kathy Wood, whether it's Warren Buffett, one person does have this ability to move markets. And that is, you know, it's scary. It, it, it isn't the, the best, in my opinion, for, for everyone. But I mean, it's kind of just the way the world has, has worked and been where we look to influential people and, and follow their leads. So don't know if we should be doing that so much with Elon. I think we're like in a, a state uh, or a period of volatility, whether that's stocks, crypto, NFTs, whatever the case may be. And Elon's doing his Elon thing, just goofing off on Twitter. He did it with GameStop a couple years ago. He was doing it with Dogecoin last year, going on SNL and things like that. And obviously he has the following to pump. If Warren Buffett said something nice about Bitcoin or Ethereum or any other cryptocurrency, that would also go to the moon. So that would also impact the price. We have more retail investors in the market now, right? And one of the downsides, or I guess not maybe a downside, but one of the uh, effects of that is more volatility. More retail investors, I think is a good thing. But the downside being there's more volatility. So I think we have to take the good with the bad. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching. Make sure you tune in every day. Also, hit that like, subscribe, and notification buttons. We'll see you tomorrow.